Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 3 to the power of x, this is equal to x to the power of 9. So, what are the values of x given that x is not equal to 0? So, let's provide a solution from here. Now, to solve this problem, we are going to apply two methods. Let's start with method 1. Now, here we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 9. So the first step to do here, let's apply the natural logarithm on both sides so that we have ln of 3 to the power of x. This is equal to ln of x to the power of 9. Then you find that ln of 3 to the power of x and ln of x to the power of 9. This is in the form of ln of a to the power of n, which we can express as n ln of a. So applying this logarithm property, then we have here x ln of 3. This is equal to 9 ln of x. Now, the next step from here, we can let u be equal to ln of x. So that here, we have that x can be expressed as the exponent of e to the power of u. Remember, u is ln of x, so we can express x as e, exponent e to the power of u. Therefore, therefore, here we have e to the power of, now we are substituting here, e to the power of u, then ln of 3, this is equal to, now here we have ln of x to the power of 9. So we have 9, this is 9, multiplying by u. So the next step from here, we can express e to the power of u ln of 3. This is the same thing as u, exponent e to the power of minus u. This is equal to ln of 3 divided by 9. Now the next step is that we can let v be equal to minus u. We have minus u here. So that now we have v multiplied by exponent e to the power of v. This is equal to minus ln of 3 divided by 9. Now we have v multiplied by exponent e to the power of v. This is equal to minus ln of 3 over 9. Now we can introduce the rampant W function here. In this case, v will be equal to the W function, that is the rampant W function uh, of a subscript k into the parentheses. Here we have minus ln of 3 over 9. And you find that this W subscript k, this is, a, this is actually, this is the kth can call this this is the kth branch of the lamp lampant w function lampant w function so that now ln of x this is equal to u which is equal to minus w then we have subscript k into the parentheses minus ln of 3 over 9 and you find that here we have that minus ln of 3 divided by 9 this is approximately this is approximately 0 0.122068 and this implies that this value here we have this value here. This is minus 0 0.122068. This lies between minus 1 divided by exponent e and 0. Now, this implies that there are two. We have two real branches here. So that now, we have that k, k is equal to 0. And that k is also equal to minus 1. So we have these are the two 
branches that we have. We have k equal to 0 and k equal to minus 1. So this implies that here, x1 will be equal to exponent e multiplied by minus w function, subscript 0 here. Then we have minus ln of 3 divided by 9. And this is approximately equal to, we have 1.5, that is 1508242. Four eight two one three. So this is the value of x one one point one five zero eight two four eight two one three, and we have that x two will be equal to exponent e. Then into the parentheses we have minus w subscript minus one. Then we have minus ln of three over nine, and this is equal to a value of twenty seven. So we have two solutions here. The first value of x here, x1, is equal to 1.1508248213 and x2 is equal to 27. This is by applying method 1. So let's proceed to method 2 from here. Now in method 2, we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 9. So the first thing here, let's eliminate the exponent x here, or the power x here, by multiplying both sides by 1 over x. This is equal to x to the power of 9, multiplying by 1 over x. Now, here we have that x and x simplifies, so that we have 3. This is equal to x to the power of 9, raised to the power of 1 over x. The next step is that x to the power of 9 raised to the power of 1 over x. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m. This can be expressed as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 3. This is equal to x to the power of 1 over x raised to the power of 9. The next step from here, let's multiply both signs by 1 over 9, so that we can eliminate this 9 on the right-hand side. So here we have 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. The next step is to simplify 9 and 9, so that now we have x raised to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3 raised to the power of 1 over 9. Now here we have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3. 3 is raised to the power of 1 times 1 over 9. We have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 9. We can express this again as x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3. 3 is raised to the power of 1 times 1 over 9. Now, in this case, 1 can be expressed as 3 over 3. So that now, x raised to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3 raised to the power of 3 over 3 times 1 over 9. And this implies that here, x to the power of 1 over x, this is equal to, now we can express this as 3, this to the power of 3, raised to the power of 1 over 3 times 9. Now, 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 times 9. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a raised to the power of n multiplied by m. In this case, we have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 1 over 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. And 3 raised to the power of 3, 3 raised to the power of 3, this is the same thing as 27. So we have x raised to the power of 1 over x, this is equal to 27, raised to the power of 1 over 27. Now, if you check the base here and the exponent x here, they are the same, and if you check here, we have 27 is the same as the exponent 27. And this implies that the value of x here is equal to 27. So this is the value of x. 
The next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. So let's verify. Now, if you recall, we have 3 to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 9. So let's substitute the value of x here so that we have 3 to the power of 27. This is equal to 27 raised to the power of 9. We can express 27 here. This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So we can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3. And this implies that here we have 3 to the power of 27. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 9. So now 3 to the power of 27, this is equal to, now 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 9, this is again in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. So this implies that here we have 3 to the power of 3 times 9. And therefore here we have 3 to the power of 27, this is equal to 3 to the power of 9 times 3, which is equal to 27. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x here satisfies the equation, which is 27 satisfies the equation. As well as we have from the first method, we have two solutions. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.